your boy Lit, the Mastermind. Welcome back to another episode of My Life is Awesome. Now, today what I want to talk to you guys about are several things. Your boy right here has been reverse engineering this whole pulse game, text game with all of y'all. We have been getting heavy into these Richard Hart projects. Why? Because I told y'all, your boy Lit is all about the love. And if it ain't about the love, Lit don't want it. Now, when I say I'm into the love, what goes with love is integrity. That's how you have an incredible life. So you have to understand that to keep your heart open and remain awesome in this world, you have to keep your integrity intact, okay? So when I speak about integrity, I'm telling you in the crypto sphere, you have to focus. There's all kinds of distractions. You know when you're driving down the road on a busy highway and there's cars everywhere and you have to keep your eyes on the road so you don't start veering off or not realize that a bunch of cars ahead of you suddenly stopped and you don't slam on your brakes in time? You can die that way. Well, guess what? In crypto, you don't actually die, but you can get wrecked. And what getting wrecked is, is it's losing all your money. And I don't want that to happen. So I want you guys to focus. There's all kinds of distractions and I don't want any of my people distracted. This pulse chain hex game is hard enough to figure out as it is. It's going to take all of our focus. Do you guys get that concept? You're driving down the road, you don't wanna be looking around messing with stuff in your car on a busy highway. You might get wrecked, okay? We have to focus on these projects, okay? I mean that. If you're new to the crypto sphere, make me a deal. Make me a deal. Until you fully understand this stuff, don't get involved in other projects other than Richard Hart, okay? Make that deal with me. If you're advanced and you've been in this game for a long time and you're super on it, that's different. Y'all do whatever you want. I don't even care. I'm talking to the noobs. And if you're a noob, be honest. Don't Try to be something you're not. You know what? It's kind of like this, y'all. Like, when you're trying to pull a fire roasted, and you introduce yourself, and you start chatting game, guess what? She's gonna know, okay? She's going to know. She's already three steps ahead of you. She's looking at you like, oh, I hear that, heard that, know what he's talking about. She is looking at your energy. She's looking at your confidence. She's looking in your eyes. She's looking at how you dressed yourself. She is already three to five steps ahead of you. Any fire roasted out there, you tell me I'm wrong. You know I'm right. When a dude comes up to you, you can tell the slime balls right away. You can tell when a dude is hunting you and you can tell when a dude actually is like, hey, what's up? You see the difference? A lot of dudes don't know this, so you have to understand this game, okay? It's literally really similar. If you talk to someone who seriously knows this game and they've done the learning curve and they're up on the top of the learning curve, they don't have any of this stuff to figure out. They're way different than someone who's at the beginning who's just getting into this game. So if you're just getting into this game, please make me a deal. Make me a deal that you just focus on Richard Hart projects because it's going to be really complicated just learning all that. Learning about staking, learning about liquid, learning how the highways work, how gas works, how transaction fees work, learning about MetaMask, getting yourself prepared. It takes so much energy. So if you're new, promise you try to just learn about these Richard Hart projects. Why? Because your boy wants to keep his integrity. I don't want to steer you off into a different path where you can get wrecked. I want you to keep your eyes open on the highway so you don't smash into the car ahead of you or veer off into another lane and get hurt, okay? I don't want y'all to get hurt. Now, that being said, I hope you understand where I'm coming from. Now, I also want to talk to you guys about some thoughts I've been having. Your boy right here is watching Hex Tank, okay? And this might be a little paranoid, but I just want to throw it out there. Did the snapshot already happen? 
seriously, honest question. Did the snapshot already happen and insiders are end staking, emergency end staking and taking their stuff off the market because the snapshot already happened and they already got their copied hex over and now they're gonna sell it and have tons of liquid like an arbitrage? Just a question, maybe I'm paranoid, maybe that's game theory, we don't know. The other question is, this trip that Richard Hart's on all over Europe where mainnet hasn't launched yet, is that game theory? Is that a game theory master at work? Why do I say that? Here's why. Your boy right here has been watching all kinds of new channels pop up in this game. And I'm hearing a lot of stuff that I've been saying in these channels. And you know what? From the heart, much love to you. If I've helped inspire you, show me some love. Come hit up your boy and say I love your stuff or I learned from you or badass. What? Just give me some love, y'all. We're in this together, okay? I'll give you love right back. Why? Because we want to spread the love on these projects. Your boy's been seeing it blow up. Now, let's zoom out a little bit. Let's take our telescopes and zoom them out so we get a bigger picture, okay? I want you guys to see this bigger picture. Imagine you're Richard Hart and you're in this Paul Chain Hex game and you are literally watching the popularity of your project grow. You're watching more and more people sacrifice. You're watching this thing blow up all over the world. How do I know that? I know that from My Life is Awesome fam. Y'all are coming from all over this planet and you're bringing so much good energy to me. Look at how lit up I am. I'm here to give it right back. So my question is, is Richard Hart holding off on mainnet and traveling the globe just to continue spreading awareness? Why? What are the benefits of that? The benefits of that are that when Pulse Chain actually launches, I bet you there's at least 50,000 people right now, today. There's most likely, in my humble opinion, at least 50,000 people who are getting their money ready, they're clearing out assets. Low key, me and my fire rose said, we're even selling a Toyota Dolphin RV that we have. Those things are super rare, they're badass. It's from the 80s, it's in really good condition. We're slanging it, why? Because your boy wants to ape in on launch day. How many of y'all are clearing out some unneeded assets so you have more money to get into this Richard Hart project? I commend you. It's probably gonna be an awesome idea. I'm not a financial advisor, I told y'all, but I'm just telling you, I'm selling some assets so I can stack more chips to get into this game early. Now, how many people are doing that? What if 50,000 people are preparing themselves to buy on launch day? You think Richard Hart doesn't know that? Of course he knows that. Think about it, this dude's a genius. What if he realized in another month or two months Imagine if that number doubled or tripled. What if it quadrupled and there's 200,000 people frothing to get into Pulse on launch day? That is the question. I have two questions. Did Snapshot already happen? Good question, right? Did Snapshot already happen? And those people emergency end staking and everything tanking are from insiders who are like, yo, I already got my copy. I don't need to keep it over there. I'm staying liquid so I can go all in launch day. Or is that just a correction in the, heist, in the hex chart? Is that just a normal correction and people are getting scared and their diamond hands are turning to paper in front of our very eyes? That's the question. It's either people who are losing their diamond hands and they're getting worried that hex is gonna tank long term, which in my humble opinion is kind of silly because hex is incredible and when ETH 2.0 comes out, that hex is gonna be worth a lot of money and probably keep smashing it. So that's the question. Are people's diamond hands turned to paper or is there something that we don't know about that the insiders do? Are they gonna launch mainnet right away and the snapshot already happened? We don't know. My question now becomes, is Richard Hart going to announce the snapshot? I personally don't think he is. Okay, I don't think we're gonna get an announcement about the snapshot, why? Think about this. If you're Richard Hart, why would you tell anyone? Why would you tell 
anyone that the snapshot is coming in. Why would you do that? You know what that's going to do? That's going to give whales an arbitrage opportunity. It's going to give them an idea where, hey, snapshot's going to happen in two days. So what are they going to do? They can collect the strategy. They can ape into certain things. And then they're going to have a ton and they can get rid of it right away. They're going to play a whole different game if they know when the snapshot is. However, if the snapshot date remains mysterious and it just pops up out of thin air the same way Testnet did, then the arbitrage opportunities are lower. So your boy, I personally, I don't think they're going to release the snapshot. I think it's going to come like that in the middle of the night when we're all asleep one day it's just going to show up and that's truly what i believe why i'm just telling you what i learned from the past with testnet i first was on it i literally heard like the first few minutes that testnet went, went live and i went to the pulse chat and i literally was like yo did richard hart give the word that the test nets out and i was so early none of the admins even knew they had to go to twitter they had to go to other places they checked they came back and they said richard hart did not say anything that's how early i was to the test net launch however that launch was legit so richard didn't even tweet it he didn't even say it he didn't even tell his admins it just came out why would snapshot be different seriously why would this not why would they tell us when the snapshot is so we can all move our chips around in arbitrage? I don't think that's going to happen. So, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that the snapshot already happened? Do you think the snapshot is going to be announced by Richard or do you think it's going to get held back and low key just suddenly show up one day? Okay? These are the questions that I want to have for you guys. I'm really curious. Now, all of this being said, I want to get in to some serious, good energy, okay? Your boy right here has received so much good energy from this community. I have fans, and I have subs, and I have family, and I have been developing personal relationships with some of y'all, and it's really filling me up with so much good energy. I want to give it back. So, remember... In this pulse chain, hex game of finance, a lot of stuff can be stressful. There's a huge learning curve in all of this, okay? Please, please do me a favor. Take this love in my heart and take it into your heart. And go look at your family and go give them a hug. If you have kids, go give your kid a hug. Go look them in the eyes and say, I'm proud of you. You want to know why you want to tell your kids you're proud of them? Because you might not know it, but you could be their hero. Okay? I'm telling you, when you're a little kid and you look up to your parents, your parents are your heroes. It's just how it is. It's just how it is. Everyone was raised different. Maybe your parents were tougher on you than others. But I'm telling you, unless you have a really, really mean parent, and you know what? Heaven forbid. I know what that's like sometimes. But I want to remind you of something, okay? In this earth plane, not everything is as it seems, okay? And sometimes we forget as adults that when we were little and when we're growing up and we're teenagers, even now as adults, when we look at our parents, please hear me. Sometimes we forget we're watching them grow up too, okay? You may be watching your parent grow up. And if they hurt you or they were mean to you, please feel my heart and understand you're watching them grow up. They don't have all the answers. They don't have everything figured out and they might be doing the best they can. And from where you're coming from, you might see a lot of fault in their ideas or their methods. You might not understand any of it, but I have to remind you, there's a psychological study done on these twins. They took all kinds of identical twins all over the globe and they tested them. And what they found is identical twins with super similar DNA and super similar lifestyles. They even look identical. They literally look the same. They have completely different emotional output systems, okay? They process information completely differently. This shows us not one person has the same emotional subsets, okay? This is the same thing as understanding 
the police, any of you police officers out there or people who are with the police officer in a relationship, ask them this question. They're gonna 100% agree with me because this is true. They've proved this in psychology. When there's like a car accident or a brutal crime or a murder or something awful happens, what happens? The police get called, they come to the scene and what do they do? First, they protect the area. Then what? They ask witnesses, what happened? What did you see? Now, all of the time, literally 100% of the time, this is literally a fact. And I maybe call it 99% of the time. I don't want to say 100% about anything. 99% of the time, there's 12 different people. You hear 12 completely different stories of what happened. Why? It's not because everyone saw something different. They all saw the same thing. It's because everyone's emotional frequency is all different. The way they process information and sound and translate vibration into their system is different. And the differentiation comes from how you're raised, the beliefs you have, the emotional stability you have, how much money in your account you have, how calm you are. Maybe you got kicked around when you were little and you're all crunched in. So when you see something, you're seeing it from a crunched in weird place. Maybe you're flexing out on life and you see it and you're like, yo, that dude popped over the curb and smashed that car and he came from over there. Maybe someone else from across the street saw it completely different. And they say, no, actually, before he popped over the curb, another car hit him and then bailed out. And you're like, what? I didn't see that car. Guess what? The police officer has to take note of all these. So you tell me in the comments below, any of you who know any police officers, am I right? Do you find... 12 different people see it, one incident and they all have 12 different opinions. Now, the reason I'm telling you about police officers and twins having all these different opinions is because you have to understand emotions in people. Emotions in people are way different, okay? So, please hear me. Whatever happened, however you were raised, if your parents are still alive, go give them a hug. Go tell them you love them. If they're not alive anymore, know that you have an angel looking out for you. Always looking out for you with love in their heart, wanting you to succeed and accept the love and say, thank you for everything you taught me. If you have kids, go hug your kids right now. Go tell them you're proud of them. You may change the course of their whole life right now if they realize, whoa, my dad's proud of me. My mom's proud of me. You don't know when the teenage years come, and we differentiate from our parents and we become autonomous, we find our autonomy, that's healthy. If you have a teenager who's rebelling against you, go give them a hug and bail. Spend five seconds and be like, come here and grab them and give them love. You know what? If you know what size shoe they have, go to their favorite store and ask the person, what's a really cool shoe and buy them some shoes and stick the receipt in there and leave it on their bed and say, hey, Got you some new shoes. If you don't like it, here's the receipt. You can return it for the ones you want and bail. Just leave it in their room when they're not there. And your teenager is going to walk in their room and see this. What's this box? And they're going to go, whoa, mom bought me a brand new pair of shoes and didn't say anything. Whoa, dad got me some new shoes. Trust me. Go do something nice for your teenager and bail. And expect nothing in return, but they will thank you later. So I just want to give you this message. I'm getting so much love from this planet all over the earth plane. Every country. I'm getting tons of countries from people giving me love and I want to give it back to you and I want to remind you life is precious. In this crypto game we're trying to make money. We're trying to have insane gains. However, once you have insane gains you won't be happy unless your heart is pure and you're clear hearted. Okay? Those twins who go through the same thing in life and they see completely different things emotionally everyone's different. You might have several kids. They might be taking life completely different. Let them off the hook. Go give them a hug. Realize life is precious and be proud. Whoever you have in your family, whoever your friends are, go give them love. And guess what? If you don't have any family and you don't have any friends, look in my eyes right now and hug yourself. I mean this. Might sound weird. I don't care. Hug yourself and appreciate yourself for surviving on your own with all of the limited resources you have and be proud of yourself for being right here on this channel 
in the My Life is Awesome family because your boy Lit is your friend. I will be your friend if you don't have any. Why? Because life is too short and we don't know who's going through hell. There could be, right now, your neighbor could be going through hell. Your mom or dad could be going through hell. Your kids could be going through hell. You understand? Hell inside the earth. You can have psychological trauma beating people up that you care about and they might not be sharing it with you because they don't want to put that stress on you. We have to be humble, okay, y'all? Please, be humble. Remember to love yourself. Remember to love the people around you who have your back, okay? And I'm not telling you to give love to people who are hurting you. If someone's hurting you, put up a boundary and don't let them hurt you, okay? I'm not telling you to just blindly give out love. I'm telling you to use your intelligence be there for the people who are there for you, okay? That's my word, y'all. From my Life is Awesome fam, straight back at you. You feel that energy? I want you to feel that energy. Take this good energy and let it ping pong through your life. That's it, y'all. Much love. Let me know what you think of these questions below. And please remember, love yourself, love the people who have your back, and eventually your whole life is just going to be a bunch of good energy. Okay, that's what happens. It's just going to be a bunch of good energy. There's going to be people that you make feel good and they make you feel good and you ping pong that feel good off of each other. Why? Because we're just spirit wrapped inside a body and we are vibratory beings and that vibration is real. Okay, look at a piece of fruit. A really nice piece of fruit has this killer vibration. You want to eat it. Look at a moldy piece of fruit. The vibration changes. You don't even want to eat it anymore. Start smelling. People are the same. People are the same, like fruit. Our energy can be rejuvenated or brought down. So please, be a part of this world that rejuvenates and brings goodness into the heart of yourself first. First fuel yourself, then give to others. Did you hear me? First fuel yourself with good energy and then give it to others. That's my word, y'all. So much love for My Life is Awesome fam. So much love to my patrons. And that very special person who sent me in my account, you know who you are and you know what I'm talking about. And I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for showing me love in this world. I got nothing but love for y'all. Till the next episode, peace. Hey, bro. Are you serious that a snapshot could have already taken place, man? Oh, I hope you're wrong. I still wanted to buy more eHex so I could get my copy of PHEX at zero and ride that thing to the moon, man. Yeah, bro. You're probably right about Richard Hart masterminding this project to be on hold for another month or two. The longer he waits, the more of us get together and pool our assets to ape in on this launch day. You know, that's right. I don't take enough time to appreciate you. Come here, give, give me a hug. I just want to say thank you for being in my life and how much I appreciate you every day, even if I don't tell you every day. Yeah, dudes. Even though you're all a pain in my butt sometimes, I love you all the same, and I'm going to look out for you with my last dying breath, because we're a family. We stick together, and that's how it is in this realm. I love you guys. Yeah, guys. We all have roadblocks to work through, but if you remember your roots... You're going to remember that I'm always here for you, and you always have a place at this table. So don't you worry. I got your back. Yeah, but Lit, you're freaking me out that Snapchat already took place. I wanted to ape in way harder so I get my copies duplicated over to the PRC. Oh my god, don't do this to me. I got my FUD pants on now, bro. I'm Coach King Bridge, PR!